The storm has passed. The work has just begun. Good afternoon once again. I'm Chris Willis. Thanks for being with us. Rescue crews are still looking for three people gone missing in area rivers, one in Austin, two in New Braunfels. And cleanup crews are getting to work today, repairing the road in Bull Creek Park, which is covered in mud, debris, and damage from the flood. The new bridge in the West Austin Park held up during the flash flooding, but some of the trees and signs in the area were no match for those rushing waters. And businesses that back up to Shoal Creek are cleaning up today. The creek swelled over its banks and onto Lamar Tuesday night, reaching the gas pumps at the 7-Eleven on 10th Street. And cleanups in full swing at Zilker Park, too, where Barton Springs Pool looked more like a raging river yesterday. That's where our Natalie Stoll is live now. Natalie, how are park crews cleaning up that mess? Well, the crews are just starting this cleanup process, and the, while the pool has gone down some, it is still flowing pretty high today. You can notice where the st water was yesterday, though. You notice that area of debris there along the banks. That's some of the work that the cleanup crews are going to be uh, working with today. Now, this is what Barton Spring Pool looked like yesterday. The water rushed so fast. There were white caps. It looked more like a river than a relaxing place to swim. Today, though, the water is still flowing over the dam and is up over the sidewalks. Tropical storm Ermine dropped around a foot of rain in the Austin area over a two-day period and runoff from the storm flooded many of Austin's parks and trails. High water also flowed up over the hike and bike trail around Ladybird Lake. The LCRA opened floodgates at Tom Miller Dam to relieve the flooding on Lake Austin. All that water worked its way downstream. Now the water has gone down but eroded some of the hike and bike trail. Cleanup crews are out assessing the damage across the city and back at Barton Springs Pool. The process has only just begun. This is probably one of our larger floods in the past couple of years. Um, but with any flood, they can. Some of them bring in a lot of debris. Some of them bring in a little bit. Until we can actually get into the water and really see what's been deposited, we really don't have a, a great gauge on what it what it did. Now, of course, the water is still dangerously high, so the pool is closed today, and it will be closed for at least the next several days as they work through this cleanup process. In South Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN, Austin News.